on this video we're going to go over if you can just drop in a lithium battery into your camper setup and the answer to that question is yes and no depending on what you want to do with your camper and how you want to monitor and your certain setup so we're going to go over that so let's go through it on some of these like in my case i have two batteries in my setup they're the deep cell lead acid batteries and uh what we've done here is if you wanted to drop in one one of these i'm going to show you the measurements this is a camp co box that's on the front of this geo pro and it's approximately it looks like 20 22 inches wide so in my case i can put one 100 amp hour lithium battery in this and there's a few 200 amps that all in one but you can't put two 100 amps into this one so you got to decide if you want to put two in here the question of dropping one in is a no you can't do that you would have to move these boxes in your inside and move all your wiring or you would have to get a bigger box so you can't just drop that in and that set up and then now if i'm going to do one which is probably what i'm going to do you can just put one in here and then I'm going to do a few other things, but I, but that one will fit in here. So the answer to that question is yes, I can just drop one in and then it'll use the hookups. Now we're going to go through a few other issues that you need to take into consideration. Another consideration in most of these Geo Pros that I have, they don't have a setup on this for, for lithium batteries. And that's, that's a problem in that you won't get your full voltage use. But it'll still somewhat charge but the good thing is it's if you have this setup like this and you do also have the newer solar controller which is this model here i'll show you this up close this does have a setting for lithium batteries so that will top off to the top of your batteries and uh so the answer to that if you have one of these and you don't want to convert it out and you have that set up here where you, it will top those off. Now it's not going to do the optimal way and we'll go over through those processes now, but it, it can be done if you want to put one 100 amp lithium battery on the front. Like I say, I showed you that it would fit in mine and I could take the charges the rest of the way up with this solar. Now if you don't have a setup on this, on your converter, and you don't have, you have an old solar controller or no solar at all, then you will not be able to get that lithium battery up to its maximum voltage and be able to level those levels out. They, they call it a, I think they call it a, where it gets up to the top level, it'll actually level those cells out and it needs to be done periodically. So that would be a no if you don't have a way of getting it up to that. Okay, another problem, and this is where I'm coming in, where I'm gonna do something different on mine is, I hate this this controller here it's not a very good accurate way of measuring your voltage especially when you get a lithium so I am actually going to I'm going to put a, a shunt piece in mine where it'll actually get a, uh, a a better reading of actually how much juice you're putting into your battery and how much you're taking out so I'm gonna go over those processes at the end of what what my plan is so some people would say just change out this converter box, which that can be done as a lot of electricity work. I would have to probably do something about getting the refrigerator out to get back to the back of that panel. It's just a lot of work. So how do you get by without doing that? And that's what I'm going to end up doing with mine is what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lithium charger to my system. What I'm going to do with that is as I need a, to top off that battery before I go on a trip, I can top it off by plugging it into the normal uh, 110 plug while my camper's plugged into the house and I can charge that up. Or if you have a generator when you're, when you're traveling, you can you run that long enough and it'll charge efficiently that lithium battery up to the top mount. So that's, that's what another way of getting around it, inexpensive. It's also about $140 for the actual charging unit. When I bring my lithium battery and put it in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, a whip that comes off here. It's going to have a waterproof plug on there 
then it'll have my actual setup for my for charging my lithium battery and so what i'll do is i'll come in and i'll plug it in i'll either run a cord around here and put in an extension cord or eventually i might just go ahead and actually have a way of bringing my cord out i'll have a plug inside and i'll bring it through the floorboard and it'll have it plug it in and that way i can charge but we'll just see how well that works out first but as far as batteries goes you can get the cheap uh you can get the cheap amazon batteries uh, a lot of people will, will say they want to use those i for one will be going to with the battleborn battery just because of the warranty alone and it's a good quality battery i don't want to have the headache if i'm going to spend three hundred dollars for a battery or seven hundred dollars for a battery i want to be able to know that when that if that battery messes up i can call the company and they'll ship me another one and i don't have to worry about it and i just trust the warranty so i'm gonna pay a lot of money for that warranty but i'm i'm happy to do that that's the way i want to go other people have other opinions on that so we're really not going to get into that if you want to get a cheaper battery and take that chance that's fine uh just up to whatever your personal uh, experience is with that so in summary depending on how you have your trailer set up and what you really want to do like i say i could come up here and put a 100 amp hour battery into my setup here because it's big enough for one battery and i could if i'm happy with that i could just run it off my solar would top it off i would just have the um, converter will only take it up so far but my problem is, is i'm going to spend that much money for a lithium battery i want to have a little bit better control so that's why i'm going to add a shunt and then after that that'll be that'll give better readings for what i'm actually putting into the battery and then also i'm going to add a charger to the system so those are the two things i'm going to add to the system so we'll make sure you stay tuned to the end of this and i'll give you a list of what that would cost so to line it all out i'm going to show you this price breakdown i have here and this is what i'm going to do this is this is the system that i'm going to install it'll be another two or three more months before i get the system and i will do a video when i install this system i'm going to keep it as simple as i can when i do it but i'm basically going to have a battleborn battery 100 amp hour and i'm going to put it up here in the front like i was talking about and i'm going to add a charge control charger onto that system and i'll show you a picture of what i'm getting there and the cost and then i'm actually going to end up getting a shunt that'll actually go in this box here what i'll do is i'll make a a piece that'll go across and it'll be inside of there i'll stall that i have bluetooth where i can pull up any information on that and uh if you have any other questions i will leave the things i'm planning on purchasing that'll be in the description if you want to use one of those links to to look at those or purchase one of those i do get a little bit of something from amazon not a whole lot but it's it helps a little bit so and that's pretty much what i'm going to do and uh if you have any questions about this setup and what i plan on do then let me uh let me know in the comments and uh hope this helped you out in making the decision for you and like i say look look forward in a couple of months i'll be doing that video where i actually install this system and that's all i got so uh we'll see you again on another one of these videos